Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design concrete columns and concrete shear walls in STAD Advanced Concrete Design for a model that was created and analyzed in STAD Pro. In this particular point in our workflow, we have completed the design of our concrete columns and concrete shear walls, and we're ready to review the rest of our results, including any column schedules, drawings, and calculations. So we're gonna go ahead and walk through a few of the options that you have available to you in STAD Advanced Concrete Design. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is our reports menu item, and we're gonna select our text schedule. This drawing will be able to show you all of your concrete columns and shear walls that are in your model, along with the size and reinforcement and material properties that were specified through your design process. Now, any drawing you see in STAT Advanced Concrete Design can be saved in a format that can be read by either MicroStation or AutoCAD. You can also customize your drawing settings while in this area of the program before creating the export. The next thing I wanna take a look at is our detailed drawing. To access that report, we're gonna select the reports menu bar option and we'll go to detailed drawing. Here you can select any columns or walls that you wanna work on for your detailed drawings. I'm gonna go ahead and select everything for this exercise. Once the detailed drawing is generated, you'll be able to see a detail of each column and each shear wall on each level that was designed. We'll be able to see detailed information about the link designs and the vertical bars. Here's our concrete columns and our concrete shear walls. Again, this drawing can be saved in MicroStation or AutoCAD format. Let's go ahead and return to the reports menu bar option and select the elevation. Let's go ahead and select all columns and all walls and we'll click OK. Now we can see that our column elevations have been generated and we'll be able to see each column in the model information about their reinforcing and sections along the way. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at our bill of quantities report. To access that report, we're gonna click on our reports menu option and then select bill of quantities. Here we'll be able to see all the concrete and reinforcing information that was specified in this column and shear wall model. And this is available for your use. You can print this report and also save it. Next, we're gonna take a look at our bar bending schedule. To generate a bar bending schedule, you can select the BBS option in your menu bar and then select generate BBS. Here we're gonna select whichever columns or walls you wanna work on and then click generate to your screen. Now we can see that the bar bending schedule has indeed been generated and we can go ahead and zoom in to get a bar bending table for each of the columns and shear walls in our model. The last piece of information we're gonna take a look at is our design calculations. To access your calculation report, you can click on your reports menu bar option, and then we're gonna select either design summary or design calculations. Here, I'm gonna select whichever columns or walls I want to work on and then click okay.
Here we can see that the column design calculations have been created and we'll be able to see a detailed view of the calculations, including the effective length calculations, the check for stability index and slenderness, the calculations for design moment and moment capacities, and we'll be able to see the design for the shear and the links. At this point, this concludes our process for designing concrete columns and concrete shear walls and STAD advanced concrete design. If we're satisfied with our results, we can go ahead and click on the save icon and then exit our STAD advanced concrete design model. Upon exiting, the program will automatically send you back to STAD Pro with your model open where you can make any changes. Now, if we do need to return to our column or shear wall model, we can go back to our STAD Pro model, launch STAD Advanced Concrete Design, and we can update any information that we need to, such as section properties or loading or so forth with the existing model that we already created. Now, at this point, this concludes the design of our concrete columns and concrete shear walls in STAD Advanced Concrete Design for a model that was created and analyzed in STAD Pro. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.